In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to take some artwork like this, place a contour cut line around it, make multiple copies of it, and then send it to your large format printer to be printed out, and then put back into your vinyl cutter to be cut out, to cut around the contours. So to do that, the first thing we must do is create the contours. So we can select the artwork like so, come up to this button up here, and we click Create Cut Contour. Now because this is an image, we've given the option here of tracing this, so we click Yes and the program will go through and trace it for us, like so. And I talk about this module in other lessons, so I won't go into a great deal of detail now. I'll just show you that you can increase the contour cut line or you can decrease it. Once you're happy with the offset that you, uh, you require, you simply click Accept, loads it back in the designing area, and now we're ready to do multiple copies of this artwork and send it to our large format printer. The key point here is, is that we don't do it in the designing area. We use too many resources doing it here, we're far better off coming up here and clicking on Contour Cut Wizard. So click on that button there and we can see a preview of our artwork here. And we can see it as a print only or a cut only or both, like so. And what we're interested in doing is cutting out multiple copies of that. So we've got our cutting device here set. We've set it to the arms, to the automated system. Um, we've, we're going to save it to PDF because we're going to want to uh, send this to a large format printer and we're going to have to rip that file out using the large format printer's rip. The thing that we're interested in here is tiled copies. So if I check tiled copies like so, it gives me this option for the how many uh, across I want or along the horizontal axis or and how many I want on the vertical axis. So if I'll just quickly change that to say 5 by um, say 10, so I, we have 50 copies of this. And as you can see what it's done is it's showing us these 50 copies here. Now I can come in and I can set the uh, the gap between these items here, between this artwork. So I can change that to say 1 inch by 1 inch, or 25 mil by 25 mil, whatever unit system you work in. And you can see it's created this gap here for me. So that's what you can do there. You can also give it a job name. In this case it's just using the name of the particular file that it was saved as, in this case fruit. Now the next thing that's very important is the marks themselves. Now, there's a trade-off between the number of marks you have and the precision that you get. And I'll explain what I mean by that. The problem with large format printing over long distances like this is that you may start up here quite accurate um, and have high precision. But by the time it gets down here, your accuracy or your precision is starting to, to waver and it's not as accurate as it was. The way to overcome that is to use more marks. But of course, if you use too many marks, and it takes the artwork takes a lot longer to produce. So there's a trade-off between the two. And that's the reason why in this drop-down box we give you these options. Because sometimes you have a large gap between the artwork and the contour cut line, and it can be out by, you know, an eighth of an inch or a couple of mil. It really doesn't matter. But sometimes you really want very high accuracy. Uh, and in that particular case, you would set it to high accuracy there. And you can see it sets the marks like so. Now, the reason why that happens is mainly because when you place this artwork into your large format printer after you've printed the job and you're ready to cut it, you tend to get lift. So areas of the, uh, the media lift up, and it means that these marks can't be uh, scanned in so accurately. The other thing, too, is, is that large format printers don't print as accurately as you might think. They do tend to skew a little bit. Uh, you do get areas that are l printed a little bit wider than others, etc. And it's just one of those things that they're not perfect. Um, the accuracy is usually pretty good, but not as good as what you might think sometimes. So we can set everything from, you know, no marks like so, where you've only got the corner marks, right through to uh, a, a few marks up to the high accuracy like so. And in most cases, the default setting is usually quite good. So if you're struggling and you're having problems, then adjust some of these settings here. But if you find if you set to high accuracy, um, you're going to get very, very good results. Now, there's some more advanced mark options over here, as you can see here. I'll come back to those in a moment. What we want to do here is I'll show you what you do the next stage, and that is to actually save the PDF file. So what you do is you click Save PDF, and in this case you give it a name or you, you select an existing name, you click Save. And when you do that, the file will look something like this. It'll load up inside PDF Reader like that. And you can see that it's printed out the artwork with the marks ready to go. So you take this file here, this PDF file that you've created, where you've just saved it, 
and you take that to your large format printer and through its rip you rip out this file. Once you've got that file you need to load it back into your vinyl cutter ready to cut that out. So once you've done that you click uh, the cut button here and it will load it into the align cut file wizard like so. Now the important thing is is that you must match here in this section here what the cut file, the position of the cut file that you've got or the artwork you've got must match what you have in the cutter. So this must match what's in the cutter. So you've got these rotation options here like so. So just make sure that those match and that you position the laser pointer of the uh, vinyl cutter over the bottom right hand corner, right in the very bottom right hand corner over this mark in the actual, uh, on the cutter itself. And then on the cutter you'll find there's a uh, button called Origin, you press that and it resets the origin to this position ready to cut the artwork out for you. So once you've done that you click Start and in this module that comes up you'll see a preview of the uh, file that's going to be cut and all the particular marks that we've printed out. So it's going to go through and scan all these marks in their positions uh, and because of the length of this uh, particular artwork it'll do it in blocks for you. One thing you may need to adjust is the sensitivity adjustment. This is because different media scans differently. So if you've got say canvas vinyl it will scan very differently to say high gloss media vinyl and that's why we need this particular adjustment here. For normal media we set it between 10 and 15 and for high gloss media you'd set it between 8 and 10. Now you can adjust that here using the spin edit control and I recommend you come in here and you adjust these settings um, depending on what uh, results you're getting. But you can come back and do that anytime you need to. The other thing that we need to adjust is the mark detection method. Now what that's talking about is the way it actually scans these particular marks and if you want uh, high precision then you would go for this maximum here. That's very important. Um, that's to deal with the sorts of things I was talking about before like uh, lift and um, you know media, the, the printing skew and things like that. Here in the settings uh, area, this is the offset, this is between the, uh, the laser sensor and the blade of the cutter itself. Now this is set in the calibration lesson, you follow that lesson through and then you print out the practice sheet and you can actually check that you're calibrated or that you've calibrated your cutter correctly. So I recommend you do that obviously before you do any contour cutting, but there's a lesson there on that. So once you've, um, you've set some of these settings, uh, hopefully the default settings will work for you, um, you click scan and you're presented with this option here to, s to scan and you can see it's going to scan this block first goes ahead and does that and now it's ready to uh, complete the uh, the cut so you click yes goes through and does that for you and your vinyl cutter should spring into action and go ahead and cut all these contour cut lines and that's how you handle large format um, printing uh, using this particular contour cut wizard I just wanted to quickly come back to the mark options which were up here again and just explain to you why we would want to uh, change any of these. It does come back to that same situation I was talking about before about this lift and skew etc. And depending on the media you're printing on, uh, the type of artwork you're working with, you may want to adjust these settings. The first thing you can do is actually set the, uh, the number of marks uh, by checking here and you can see as I change these numbers it changes the number of marks across the width and the height or the horizontal and the vertical. So I can set the, the precise number of marks that I'm looking for. I can also do the mark spacing and again it's a very similar thing. I mean if I set that down to 50 millimeters you can see it adds these a lot more marks well, every 50 mil. If I do it here it does the same thing. So effectively I can put in a lot of marks if I want to. Um, but the more marks you put in, the longer it takes to scan and the longer it takes to produce your artwork. So it is a trade-off. As I've said before, the default settings are usually fine um, and I would stick with those. Leave it on Use Extender Marks by default. Uh, there's no point turning that off unless there's a good reason to. Um, and you would only use small marks when you're actually working with very small artwork uh, in certain circumstances. For large format printing, we would stick with the uh, extender marks on and we would normally use the default settings. That would cover most cases. 
as I've mentioned before, if you really do need um, higher uh, precision, then set it to the uh, to number three there, and that will put in extra marks for you. So that's how you create multiple tiled artwork and send it to your large format printer through the Save PDF option there. Um, obviously you've got to keep an eye on your sizes depending on what size your large format printer is. I mean obviously this will work on practically all of them, this particular example I'm working with here, um, but that's why we have these measurements, these dimensions here, so that you know that if you've set options in here, in your horizontal by vertical or the number of copies you have, uh, keep an eye that make sure that it'll actually fit onto your particular machine um, and also your cutter of course. If you've got a smaller cutter that won't fit. So that's how those options work um, and if you do get uh, have any problems with the accuracy or the precision of your your cutting you can come in and adjust your mark options there. So that's the end of this lesson. Thank you. Mm -hmm.